Hello YouTube, it's Shadow Hero 90 welcoming you to the fifth season of Sexism in Movies and TV. Now, there are many reasons as to why I do this review show. One of which is the portrayal of men in the media is downright horrific. It's an insult. It's why most kids think their dads are idiots. But when it comes to women, they get the get out of horrible portrayal free card. And although I do review a lot of shows and movies that are aimed at a mature adult audience, most of what I review is aimed at a young audience. And yes, I kind of do blame shows like Adventure Time and Loud House and the bulk of what, uh, what usually appears on this show as being the reason that teenage boys have such low self-esteem. Which is actually kind of true when you think about it from a psychological perspective. If when every single portrayal, well almost every single portrayal of men and boys on TV and in movies is negative of course they're going to, of course, these teenage boys, when they first hit puberty, are going to have horrible self-esteem. So, in that regard, I kinda do, well, I, not kind of, I know that I have a noble cause when I rip apart these televised pieces of shit. So anyways, on with the review. Let me just start this review off by saying I am not a fan of the original Thundercats. I did not watch it when they brought it back on Toonami in the late 90s. When they put Thundercats Roar on demand, I saw the first two episodes and I did not know where the insane level of hatred for this show was coming from. I saw two more episodes, and I still couldn't understand where the hate was coming from. But then I saw the episode Warrior Maiden Invasion, and I kind of realized where the hate for the show might be coming from. It's different. In this episode, Tiger is just as stupid as anyone else, and in this episode, Wily Kit is Lion O, and Wily Cat is Tigra. So the episode starts with the Thundercats. Playing hide-and-seek is a training exercise. And Wily Cat 
gets upset that his sister is essentially going around smashing things, giving away their position, and causing them to lose at hide-and-seek. He even says this will happen. A prediction that came true when they returned to the safe zone and all the adults made it past them because the Thunder Kittens accidentally had been given away because Wily Kit couldn't go two seconds without smashing something. Wily Kit is kind of berated by everyone for essentially smashing things, giving away their location, and causing them to fail. But since she's Lion-O in this episode, thing, well, her idiot, her stupidity is going to be the thing that saves the day. Then, the warrior maidens show up and start terrorizing Third Earth. The warrior maidens reveal themselves as who they really are, and the Thundercats see them. And within less than half a minute, Wily Kit is instantly fangirling over them. It becomes obvious that the Warrior Maidens are going to attack the Thunder Base, which they do again in less than a minute. easily defeat the Thundercats, as well as wreck their base and throw them in the Thunderbrig. Which, because Tigra's an idiot in this episode, he designed to nullify all their abilities because, well, in this episode he's just as stupid as everyone else. So anyways, the Warrior Maidens then go on to smash up the Thunder Base. And steal the Thunder Tank, taking it for a joyride. Wily Kit gets the idea to smash random things in their base and try to earn the Warrior Maidens. Chitara notices the vent and that Wily Kit and Wily Cat could easily... And then they follow it up with a joke about Lion-O being an idiot, thinking... T the plan commences, but Tigerus... Wily Cat devises an elaborate plan that could actually work if this episode was actually following any kind of logic, but Wily Kit hates it because, well, it doesn't involve smashing things, and that's what she enjoys doing. Wily Cat 
was able to tranquilize the warrior maidens and was about to deactivate the Thunder Brig, letting the Thundercats out, which mirrored them playing hide-and-seek as a training exercise. If this pile of shit actually was following any kind of logic, then that's what they would go with. They, Wily Kit and Wily Cat, would use the skills they gained playing hide-and-seek to let the other Thundercats out, and then they'd all drive the Warrior Maidens off. But we don't get that. No, instead we find out that the Warrior Maidens are actually doing good. Which is the most fucked up part of this episode. I mean, they spent the last six minutes establishing these cunts as villains. The reveal that the Warrior Maidens are actually good and shit like the Mole Master being a dictator them attacking Mumra's summer home is not only a fuck you to all the little boys watching, but it's actually a fuck you to the original. And I now understand why there are a lot of Thundercats purists who are livid over this show's existence. So, anyways, Wily Cat walks up to them and tries to address the situation with words, but the warrior maidens attack him. So, anyways, since this is a hypocritical piece of garbage that solely exists to, you know, get social brownie points? Wily Kit goes through on her plan, starts smashing things like crazy, and eventually earns the respect of the Warrior Maidens doing so much damage that the Thundercats are let out of the Thunder Brig by accident. So anyways, Wily Kit makes friends with the Warrior Maidens, and then we get the backstory. Which, might I say before saying it, is unbelievably hypocritical. Not just for this show, but for any show to try and pull off and want their audience to think it's okay. The Warrior Maidens were the original heroes of Third Earth until they were defeated by Mumra. And, uh, yeah, lion o And they believe that they believe him, but they assume Wily Kit is the team leader. When lion points out that he is, they don't believe him. And the episode 
just ends with the Warrior Maidens being dicks to everyone else except Wily Kit. And then the Warrior Maidens are never seen again after this piece of shit episode! Okay, um, uh, I'm just gonna say it. This piece of crap was essentially made to earn social brownie points from every pink or blue-haired feminist on the internet. That is something that's extremely hypocritical. Women go on and on about how the Disney princesses kill the self-esteem of little girls. Stuff like this kills the self-esteem of little boys. This piece of sexist garbage is unbelievably hypocritical. Remember last November when I attacked the episode Dragon Quest? from My Little Pony. Here's kind of a good comparison to point out the level of hypocrisy in stuff like Warrior Maiden Invasion. Hypothetically, let's say that the people at Cartoon Network realized that DC Superhero Girls, a franchise that technically what you're seeing on screen is a reboot of the original that didn't even last a year. Let's say the people who are running Cartoon Network came to the realization that this franchise was a bad idea. So, in the final episode, you know, as the means to end this abomination once and for all, the Earth is invaded by Darkseid. The DC superhero girls Try to stop him, and they get their butts kicked. But then, essentially, the show introduces a version of the Justice League with the same member layout as that of the Batman. The Justice League tell the superhero girls to get bent and let them handle Darkseid, but they refuse, to the point where the Justice League essentially beats down and, well, not so much beats down, but, but restrains the superhero girls, defeat Darkseid, and have the superhero girls locked up on locked up uh, in, on Strikers Island either that or in Arkham Asylum if Cartoon Network did that the internet would go batshit and attack them I guarantee you of that Warrior Maiden Invasion is such a load of anti-male bullshit that I would rather watch the Saved by the Bell episodes, Jesse's Song, and House Party back to back over that piece of man-hating garbage. And now I'm just going to say it. I am done! The review is over!